doing here? Are your mom home? No. Can I come in? your usual sweatpants and t-shirt in the afternoon. <laughs> Sarah, what's going on? I heard a Christmas present. Go ahead. You're trying to make me cry. No. Just open it, please. She's everywhere, isn't she? To her house. It's not what I meant. So did you drive all the way from Boston to give me this? I needed to tell you something in person. Sarah, please get this. I want to tell you what's going on. You deserve that. What? Has something happened? Yeah. My mom sort of lost it on me when you left New York. She went off on her mom and phone call on the fact that you came to the city. I guess... I guess she was afraid I was going to run away with you or something. She decided to move the date of the wing up. She's changing everything, all the plans. To when? Tomorrow. <laughs> Christmas Eve would be a perfect day to be married. I think that'll seal it. That'll shut down my feelings and then I'll never be able to turn back. You said that's what you wanted. You said that's what you had to do. This is happening to me. Sarah, nothing is happening to you that you can't stop. Sarah, did, did Ian try to do something to you? No, this is not about Ian. He would never hurt me or anybody else. Well, then what do you want from me? You broke up with me. I told you what I want, what I would do to make it happen, and you're marrying Ian tomorrow. You think I want that? You, you think I want to be with someone I'm not in love with? You think I want to do that to another person? Sarah, wake up. That's what you're doing. If you know that it's wrong, that you can't do it and still be happy, then you have to change it. I can't. Why not? Because I'm not, I'm not as strong as you are, Bianca. My mother keeps telling me that everything is going to be fine, that my wedding day will be the happiest day of my life. Except... that's already happened. With you. So what? Do you want me to make up your mind for I you? I want you! I want what we had. I want that with you. 
I'll never be what my mom wants me to be. Maybe you can pull that off with your mom, but I can't. Oh. You think I'm who my mom wants me to be? Look at you. You're even starting to dress like her. But it's not me, Sarah. And it wouldn't be me if you had come with me that afternoon in New York. I'm here, and I'm doing this because I don't have you. I'm here now. If you said that, and you didn't really mean it... Yanka, I cannot marry Ian tomorrow. <sighs> Sarah, not unless you help me through it. Help me to be strong, like you are. Sarah, what are you trying to do to me? I know you can pull this off. You can be anything your mom wants you to be. For as long as you have to while you're in her house. And then you can move on and you can be yourself. I know this about you. You don't know anything. You gave me an out and I didn't take it. You would have run away with me that day. Can't you see? You could survive anything. I can't. If I had said yes, you would have gone with me. I know it. But you didn't. Now look at me. It's not going to stay this way. You and I both know it. But I don't have it in me to be who I am. I have to be somebody else. Sarah, I don't know what you want from me. I want you to say it's going to be okay. I want you to tell me that I'm not going to be unhappy for the rest of my life. I want you to let me go. I can't do that. I love you. And that has never changed. Not for one minute. See how you can just say what you feel and own it? That's why you're gonna be okay, Bianca, because of that. You're gonna be able to tell your mom the truth about yourself someday. Because you believe what's in your own heart. I don't. And I just say, Sarah, you're so wrong about me. You came here for my help. I can't even help myself. All right, wait, 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 wait. Now, what's going on here, please? Are you just going to stand here, Jack? You're going to listen to this Brooke, slander? Brooke, i got to tell you, I'm having a hard time believing this story. Jack, it's all over the news. The majority of people on board the, the boat that night were under the influence of that drug, that libidazone, and apparently Bianca saw Leo and Laura kissing on deck, and she got jealous, and she acted out. Bianca would never be jealous of Laura and Leo kissing. There was nothing between Leo and my daughter Bianca, nothing whatsoever. So even if she had been accidentally drugged, there was no motive. I mean, this whole thing is so Can preposterous. Can I talk to you for just a second, please? Excuse us. Uh, yes. Just a minute, just a minute. Just, just, just listen to me for a minute, please. I have read accounts of how many people on that boat were drugged. I myself was drugged on that boat. I was affected myself, if you will recall. Affected so much that you would push somebody overboard? Uh, just hear me out. Let's say that Bianca was influenced by this drug and she saw Leo and Laura kiss. I can't believe you would even entertain this notion that Bianca was jealous of Laura and Leo kissing. Erica, what I'm trying... What I'm trying to say... It's a little complicated, you know? No, I don't know. I think that maybe Bianca doesn't have feelings for Leo. I think maybe she has feelings for Laura. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> it's, uh, how can you say such a thing? I am not saying that I believe Brooke's story about Bianca pushing her into the water. What I am saying is we have been seeing certain signs from your daughter and from other people. Now, your daughter is obviously struggling, honey. Bianca is struggling with something. It's clear. And I'll tell you what I think is she's struggling with. Her sexuality. Are 
are you blind? What am I able to do that you can't? I live a lie in this house because my mom can't know that I love you. She, she can't hear that I'm gay. Not now, not ever. And you want to know how I know that? Because I've tried telling her. So many times I have tried to say, Mom, I want you to know who I am. I want you to know Sarah. Because I know that if you could see how special she is, there is no way that you could love her, too. But I can't do that. Because she would fall apart. My mom can't accept who I am, Sarah. And you won't accept us. So where does that leave us? You'll be able to tell her. You're strong enough to do it. I know you are. S Sarah, would you... Just shut up. I'm not strong. You're not strong. The only thing that is strong here is our fear, and it's winning, Sarah. We're letting it win. You remember when we ran away from the hospital to the school ground next door and played on the swing? I remember. I pushed you and you laughed so hard. You kept saying you were trying to kick the stars with your feet. Yeah. And you said I couldn't. And you said you could do anything. the difference between you and me. I don't know if this is the right thing to say. Right now, I... Just say whatever. I still love you. Philadelphia bringing her a gift. That's Maybe all. I didn't make myself clear enough in York. You are not welcome in my home, even with a gift. Mom, please don't do this. I have a dozen reporters and photographers waiting at the Valley Inn. Thanks to you, Sarah, Bianca is late for a very important debut. Mom, don't do this Do you now. have any idea what an important event in her life you're interrupting, Sarah? Do I have to call my personal security guards to make sure that you leave? Mom, stop! No, no. It's okay. I'm, I'm leaving. Bianca. Just leave, Sarah. I'm sorry I came here. You should be. I never meant to hurt you. I, I never did. Not for a minute. No, Sarah, wait. We have to talk. We have to get to the Valley Inn, honey. No!
Oh, you know, a stylist can go over this before you have to go in front of the cameras, honey. And the stylist will just make everything right again and just, you know, smooth it all out. Oh, my beautiful daughter. You don't have to worry about anything, honey. Mommy's here. And I love you. Oh, I just can't wait for the world to see you. The limo is waiting in the driveway. And Uncle Jack is waiting for you at the Valley Inn. And you know what else, honey? You know what else? Your father would have been so proud of you. Oh, he would have loved to see you just this way. Bianca? No, honey, you're right. What good instincts you have. Of course your hair should be down. It should be down. And if it's down, then these earrings don't work. So we'll get other earrings, we'll have them redo our hair, and, and they'll just make everything perfect. They'll make everything right. What, what may I ask, do you think you're doing? This isn't me, Mom. It never was. Well, all right, Bianca. Just, just tell me what look it is you're going for, and, and I'll have the stylists come up with something different. I mean, they're magicians, no. and we're looking no, incredible Mom. no matter what, because... No, Mom, what? I have to tell you something. But I have to go. I, I, I can't keep those people waiting any longer than I have. I'm not going. Of course you're going. We're going. We're going together. This is what we wanted. The perfect mother and daughter for all the world to see. I don't want the world to see me, Mom. I want you to see me. This is what we wanted. No. No. This is what you wanted. I never did. What in God's name are you doing, Bianca? Have you, have you lost your mind? Look at me. I don't want to look at you. I want you to go. Look at me. I want you to see who I am, Mother. Terribly wrong with you. No. No. You just won't look. I'm looking. I'm looking at my daughter standing half naked in my living room when we have a press conference. We have dozens of reporters and Mom, magazine Mom, editors you, waiting for were us. Were you Bianca. listening to David when he when he tried to tell you who I was? Or, or Uncle Jack? Bianca, what are you doing? What are you trying to say? You know. I, I'm trying to show you who I am. I want you to see who I am. Daughter. 
yours and Danny's. And I really believe that he would be proud of me, just like you said. Just not for the reasons that you think. what I said? Mom? Bianca, you need to hurry and get dressed. We're so horribly late, and it wasn't easy to pull this press conference off, you know, so close to Christmas. Those reporters, those photographers, I know they want to get home to their families. And, and to keep them waiting, this would be unforgivable. Mom, can't you even look at me? Please, turn around, face me, face who I am. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to blurt it out like that, but I, I just, I couldn't pretend anymore to be someone I'm not. your Uncle Jack that sending you to that rehab center was a complete mistake. And it was. I was right. I wish I had listened to my instincts. What that girl did to you, that horrible girl. Who, Sarah? She, she didn't do anything to me. Hey, of course she did. She's older than you are, and she preyed on you. She preyed on your youth and your inexperience. No, no, we were friends. We were soulmates. Oh, Bianca. You were sick, you were fighting a disease, you were scared, you were vulnerable. And, and, and she took advantage of you. She, she tried to confuse you, tried to get you to think that you're something that you're not. That's not true. Of course it is. I mean, I have no idea what she said to you to, to try to convert you. She said she loved me. She still does. But, but we can't be together because she's afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid that... that her mother won't love her anymore. Because Sarah is not who her mom needs her to be. That is Sarah's problem, Bianca. Not yours. Honey, I think that when you've had time to... Calm down and think this through. 
through logically. Oh, what, Mom? I won't be gay anymore? Stop it! Don't ever say that again. Bianca, you're only 16 years old. The teen years can be very confusing. You're not even sure who you are. I, I know what I feel and what I don't feel for boys. Honey, how could you? You haven't even dated yet. Mom, Leo is, is drop-dead gorgeous. All the girls want him, except me. Well, honey, maybe he's just not your type. I mean, look at me. I've spent my life looking for Mr. Wright, but just because I haven't found him doesn't mean that I'm that way. But I am. Did I miss something along the way? I mean, I know that my breakup with Travis was very hard on you, that you were very angry and, and you acted out. But we got you the help you needed. And I didn't think that the damage was permanent. Mom, I'm not a child anymore. I am not acting out. This has nothing to do with you or Daddy or Uncle Jack. Then, then what does it have to do with? I mean, you were perfectly normal before we sent you to that awful rehab center and then that, that, that girl. Mom, Sarah did not make me gay. I've known that I've had these feelings ever since I can remember. I, I just I just wasn't sure what they were. Honey, you're still not sure. I mean, you were fighting an eating disorder, and, and your self-esteem was, was non-existent. And then along came this Sarah, and she enlisted you to be her friend. Mom, Sarah and I were more than friends. We were lovers. I told my mother once that I would rather die than be like her. And she swore to me that someday my daughter would look me in the eye and say something just as hateful. But I never imagined that you could be this cruel. think that I came out, that I told you that I'm gay, to hurt you? I do nothing than try to please you, try to accommodate you. But everything I do is misunderstood. I mean, I gave you a party that any girl, well, it would be any girl's idea of heaven. You mean any normal girl, right, Mom? But you reacted as if you were being tortured. As if I were holding you up for public ridicule. Because that's the way it felt. Mom, I'm not you. I'll never be you, and I have known that since forever. I never have asked Mom, you... Mom, stop never. dismissing me, please. You're not the only person in this room. I'm here, too. Your daughter is here, and she has feelings that matter, too. Of course you Mom, do. Mom, all of my life, I have felt like I didn't belong anywhere to anyone until Sarah. For the first time, I felt at home with someone. I felt like I belonged, but I was also afraid. Afraid of what? Of you. Of how you would react if you found out about me. I was scared to death that you would be ashamed and embarrassed and disappointed. That's why I didn't want that stupid party. That is why I got drunk and I tried to make out with the captain of the boys' soccer team. I just wanted to please you, Mom. I just wanted to make you happy. I lived a lie so that you would stay tucked away in your comfort zone so that you wouldn't be ashamed if the whole world knew what you didn't want to admit that your daughter is gay. That's enough. I, I don't want to hear any more now. You had members of the press waiting for you. I for certainly day. do, yes. Is there a problem? No. <laughs> Christmas is my favorite season. Mom, stop. Stop pretending that everything is Santa Claus.
Come in, Jeff. Please yeah. come in. Do we have to air our dirty laundry in front of the whole neighborhood? I'm the one who's dirty, right, Mom? Yeah. Well, what's going on here? Sarah was here. Mom walked in on us. I have to get out of here. Oh, Mom, please don't. Where are you going? I told you I have people waiting for me. I, I can't let them down. No, Mom, you can reschedule. Please, Mom, this is important to me. There's something maybe you don't know about your mother. She spent most of her adult life looking for a man to replace her father. And now I think she's... I think she's afraid. Afraid of what? That maybe you're looking for a woman to replace her. That's insane. Is it? No, I don't know. I just thought I'd throw it out there. In my experience, the heart wants what the heart wants, and devil take the hindmost. I think you're just going to have to give your mother a little bit of time to get used to this whole idea. Can't she see that I am still the same person? No. Not now. Not yet. But she'll come walking back through that door and the two of you will sit down and you will work through this. And it will all work out eventually. Jack, it, it doesn't bother you that I'm gay? No. No, not, not at all. You know, we're about to celebrate the birthday of a very important man. A man who was the embodiment of love and acceptance and compassion. I couldn't love you any more if you were my own daughter. And there's nothing that would ever change that. Oh, come here, sweetie. I wish Mom felt the way you do.